Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Plans with Amanda. In this video, I'm gonna be setting up my planner for the month of February using some clear covers from Live Love Posh with metal disc from Happy Planner and some patterned paper. If you wanna see that, stick around. Okay, you guys, I haven't done a planner like this yet, but I want to use this pattern paper and these clear covers that are new from Live Love Posh. Now, the uh, frosted covers have been around for a while, and I haven't got my hands on those yet, um, but I do want to try those. But these clear covers just came out, and I wanted to give them a try because I just thought the idea of having the pattern paper behind them was really cool because you can just really customize your planner look. Um, so I haven't even opened these yet. I also did pick up the tab top dividers. Um, these are available in the shop as of right now, I believe. Also the side tabs are available. Um, and also the clear covers. I think the classic may be sold out right now, but there are other sizes available and I think the frosted covers are available. So just be sure to check out Live Love Posh um, to see what might would work for you if you wanna try this look. But um, I do have a coupon code AMANDA10 if you want to use it on the Live Love Posh site. Um, they're always linked in my description box below, my affiliate link, um, if you want to check them out. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a um, cover off of one of my planners that I use because what I want to do, I want my covers to mimic this size. Um, I, before I started filming, I was trying to decide, do I want my page, the paper, to be the same size as the planner pages and then the tabs stick out? Or do I want them to come over and just kind of cover that like our normal planners do? Um, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make these two sided so that for one, because the first paper I picked out was this really pretty uh, flower pattern with the little uh, white polka dots on the navy background. Um, I picked this up from Hobby Lobby, I think last year. Um, it might still be available. They don't change their paper out very often, um, but that's the, the S or the SKU code if you want to take a look and see if you can find it. But um, anyway, I wanted to use this paper because I thought it'd be really pretty for Valentine's Day, but it's thin and I and I wanted it to be two-sided so that when I flip the page, it'll have a pretty pattern on the background. Then I thought, why not make it something that kind of coordinates, but that also I could be used as a cover later on if I wanted to flip them around and use the other side. Um, and then also I pulled some metal disc from my stash. I'm not gonna move them around very much because it gets really noisy on video, um, but I'll show you. I store my disc on these little uh, binder rings and I picked these up from Amazon. Um, I'm thinking this is the one and a half or one and a quarter size inch rather, one and a half or one and a quarter inch size. Um, but anyway, these store the 11 disc perfectly and then I hang these across a little, um, it's like a, it's a planner card accessory that I got from Michaels. It just hangs on the side of your planner that could hold like washi or rolls of, I keep like my wax paper on there. And then I hang my disc across it. I'll try to see if I can get a good picture of it um, to show you guys. If I can, I'll insert that just so you can see it. Um, but anyways, this is how I store my disc. And then the other thing that I like about it is that all the colors are together. And even if you wanna put your disc in a jar, um, this works perfectly to kind of put them all in the jar. And so I may do that eventually because I don't love the look of the hanging disc, but anyway, I will, let's keep moving. I'm gonna go ahead and get these off of here so that the noise is minimal. And then we'll go from there. I just uh, need nine because I'm doing a classic. So should be able to, Yep, that's it. So the, then the rest can just stay on this um, little binder ring. Another thing too that you'll find, um, I'm kind of to the end of my stash on these binder rings. And so there was a couple that were kind of wonky um, and like this one is just kind of sideways, but it'll still go together and work if you want to force it. Um, I, you saw I just had it closed. I'm not gonna try to force it, but anyway, let's keep moving. So I'm gonna move these to the side. I'm gonna take my cover and pull it off. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to get the exact measurements of the uh, inside page. Kind of like if you were going to make a cover um, yourself and laminate it. 
All right, so we've got right at seven and a half inches wide by nine and a half inches tall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my pages down to seven and a half by nine and a half, and then we'll move on to the next step. I just use a paper trimmer. It's got a um, little ruler on here. So I'll try to keep this in a view, but if I can't, then that's what I'm doing. I'm measuring seven and a half by nine and a half. And neither one of my papers are um, specific to the way that they need to go, I don't think. And so we're just gonna stay with the, yeah, we'll just kind of go this way. So seven and a half, and I'm gonna try my best to get as close as I can, just so that my pages line up is, you know, pretty close. And these are the only sheets I have, so uh, I don't want to mess up or I'll have to get new paper. All right, so seven and a half by nine and a half on that one. And let's just go ahead and do the other patterned flower. Um, it's not going to really matter if I go, you know, which way I go. So I'm just going to, like I said, just keep them straight up. I will flip this one to the side though, just so that the patterns aren't exactly the same. So seven and a half. And then let's see, the, the other one I cut off the bottom, so this one I'll cut off the top by nine and a half. And I haven't done this before, so this is kind of a trial and error. So hopefully it works out, making sure I've got nine and a half. I have been known to cut the measurements wrong on stuff because I don't pay attention, so I don't want to do that. Okay. So this is our uh, one set of covers. So I'm gonna hold those to the side. This page is a, um, let's see, it came out of a 12 by 12 paper stack from Michaels, the Recollections brand that I got last year. So I don't know if it's still available, um, but it's just one of the floral packages. I'll link it if I can find it still. All right, so I don't want this perforated edge to be in my cuts, or on my edges rather. So I'm gonna flip this around, and again, we're gonna go seven and a half. By nine and a half. And for this, we'll turn it this way. And this one really doesn't matter anyway, because the pattern's just so repetitive, it's not gonna matter if it's exactly the same as the other. All right, so nine and a half. And I'm just really trying to make sure I'm right there on that line to get as close as possible so that we don't have any edges hanging over. So again, I've got that perforated edge somewhere on the page. It's right here. Um, so we're gonna just flip it around again and do seven and a half by nine and a half. Oops, that's nine and a half. So there we go. So seven and a half by nine and a half. And again, I don't want that perforated edge. and nine and a half. Okay, so I've got all four pages cut. Let me try to see if I can, let's get this out of the way. And everything looks like it's lining up really, really well. So the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna get this try, the scraps out of the way. I do keep a lot of my scraps um, if the pieces are you know a decent size. So we've got our pages here that line up really, really good. So what I wanna do is take front and back and put them together, right? So I'm gonna use my Tombow mono adhesive tape runner and I'm just gonna go around all the edges. I'm not gonna, I wanna punch it at one time. That's why I'm not punching it yet. But let's go ahead and run our tape runner. And I want these to stick really, really good. And so that's why I went around all the, I went continuously versus um, just sporadically. So just trying to think how the best way to line this up would be. I think I'll just kind of do like I do with my planner pages and maybe just line it up corner to corner. pretty good. It's not perfect, but who's perfect, right? <laughs> All right, so we've got front and back. Let's do the other one. Let's 
Okay. And again, it doesn't really matter which direction these are going, so. All right, pretty good. Okay, so those are together. So now I've got two sets of matching pages, right? Okay, so now we can punch it. I'm just gonna use my Happy Planner Big Punch. This gets dusty because it sits kind of in a spot on my desk. Um, but I wanna decide which way I want the punches to go. Um, like I said, there's really not a definite direction, but I wanna kind of look at each side. I think I want this to be the front, so I'm gonna take and put this in the punch. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. I didn't think about this because the punches are, this isn't like a regular size page. So I'm gonna have to really be careful in like lining this up so that I'm not accidentally punching into the edges. I don't know if it would even go that far, but I just wanna, let's just try it and see. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you what, we can t we can tell. Let me clean my punch out real quick, and then you can flip it upside down and get a look at it. Just trying to get all this mess out of here so that we're not um, getting it all over my desk when I'm trying to do this. Um, I think we've, we're getting it. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into the punch, kind of where I thought I would use it, I would punch it rather, and then flip it up and then we can see the back that it's not coming over into this last punch. So that's good. That's really what I wanted to make sure. So let's put the backing back on because I don't want to make a mess. More so than I already am. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. All right, let's get her back over here. Trying to make sure I've got my directions again to make sure I don't have something backwards. Okay, I think I wanted it this way. It's okay either way, you guys. I'm overthinking it. Okay, I'm lining it up one more time, just as centering it between those two end punches as best I can. And I think we got it. Okay, let's do the other side. Making sure I've got it in the right direction. Oh yeah, that's pretty spot on. Awesome. All right, so then these are not gonna get laminated. They're just paper, right? So I think the next step is to go ahead and get these opened. And on these covers, when you get them, they've got like a, a clear coating on them. So I think, let me see if I can get this off. I don't know which side it's on. I think it's this side. There we go. Okay. So I just used the end of my tweezers, trying to really be careful not to scratch it. I don't know if this is on both sides or not think it is. It doesn't feel the same as this side. Okay, well, we're going to say it's not. So we'll use this for the back. Yeah, you can really kind of tell. It feels different on one side. There we go. 
that's not that wasn't hard to get off. You just have to maybe use something kind of pointy to get a hold of it. We got a little extra pieces here. All right, so cute. I love it already. I can kind of see it. All right, so then the next thing is going to be to put it on the disc, right? So let's go ahead and get our pink disc back up. These discs came from a memory keeper um, or memory happy planner. Uh, I'll show it to you in case you want to look for them because the pink is a little different than any of the other disc that I found, but I pulled it off of this uh, Love This Moment uh, memory planner that I had bought last year. Um, I picked it up from Joann's, but I don't know if it's still available. It probably is not really easy to find because it's kind of older, but anyway, let's go ahead and put, I think I can put all these together. Oh yeah, that's perfect as far as the sizing goes. I think, yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute. I love it. And the sizing of the punches on the plastic covers is almost spot on too to what to the happy planner punch so that's awesome i was kind of worried about that uh, just because if it's a different company you know the punches may not be exactly the same but these are really really close okay oh my gosh it's so pretty for valentine's day i didn't tell you that but this is february's planner right um and so i really wanted a valentine's look but something that could be used all month um, and then if I decide to, you know, use these at some other time, you know, the, uh, I could use this as a cover too, which is also really pretty. And I just wanted it to be pretty on the inside. So let's go ahead and get, start getting my planners moved over. And this month for January, I used this, um, cover from the happy planner. It's kind of like a, uh, fake leather, um, kind of stiff, but just kind of flexible also. And I just really loved how this planner worked for me as far as like the feel of it and the look of it and then the metal disc. And so we're going to be moving out of this one. So the first thing I'm going to pull over is my name page and my perpetual calendar. I did go ahead and fill in all my birthdays the other day with, um, just a paper mate flare. So I thought that turned out really cute. I was happy with that. Um, that's what I use my perpetual calendar for in my catch-all. And then also, um, I should have explained as well, just so those of you that are new, I do a Franken planner system, which is where I have, um, uh, my catch-all planner. I have my social media planners in here and then I have like note sections and stuff in the back all in one. And what I do is I keep three months of each planner in at a time. Um, and then I will kind of rotate those. I keep uh, the past, present, and excuse me, past, current, and future month in there. Um, but for right now, you'll just see uh, January and February in moving over because I went ahead and took December out um, once I got to use in the planner for this year because I wanted my name pages to be front. And so um, we're gonna be moving over January and February and then adding March, so we'll get to that. The other thing I wanted to do is go ahead and take my tab top dividers and put those in as we go. And then these also came from Live Love Posh. I'm actually not gonna label the tab tops because I'd rather, um, I just want the sections to be separated. I don't need it labeled. Um, I might eventually go in and add some labels, but uh, I, I kind of just like to have the uh, dividers plain. And so for this, I'm gonna put my first divider in at the beginning of my catch-all. And that's what we're gonna move over uh, now. All right, so I'm gonna move those that way. Okay, so January's coming over. I love how these are clear and you can still see through to see your pretty pages. Um, one thing I don't love is bookmarks that are really uh, colorful. Um, I like them, they're pretty, but I like to also see my planner pages. All right, and then February's coming over. This is gonna be my current month, February. So then we're gonna add March in too. All right, and so March is coming from my, um, the planner I chose for my catch-all, which was the Life's a Party planner. So let's go ahead and pull that out. And then we can set this back on the shelf. Next month when I pull in April, January will go back into that planner. That's what you'll you'll notice 
it just doesn't have I don't have one moving back this month because like I said I already moved December out okay so then the next section I have is my social media planner and I'm gonna put another tab top in here and then pulling it from here we've got my name page um, and perpetual calendar which I haven't filled anything in on this perpetual calendar my plan is to use it for like holidays and special times of the year seasonal type things so that I have a good reminder of things coming up that I want to plan on uh, planning for <laughs> my, my planner spreads and stuff theme wise um, okay so that's my um, currently page for January not filled in but um, decorated and ready to be filled in. And so then I'm pulling out January to move it over. And then February. And then March will come from the planner I chose, which I'm gonna pop this cover back on. It's the one I just measured with a few minutes ago. So we have that connected. Okay, so March is coming out of here. And that is cute. I love the copper uh, rose gold tabs and the look of this. This is the, the Zay Wild Planner. Um, it is a neutral dashboard. I don't know if it's still available, um, but um, Happy Planner is always linked in my description box. So be sure and check that stuff out if you guys are interested. Okay, so putting March in for my social media and then another um, tab top divider. I have four uh, in that set. The, the side tabs uh, have more sections available. So it just depends on what you really need. But I like the tab top for the section since the month are over here all right and so then this section is kind of a collection of things right now I just have a couple of things in here but it's like um, just stuff I'm working on or my trackers so right now I've got my reading log and um, that I made with my Jojo's pretty paper shop stickers and a books of the Bible little printout that I had printed out I'm, my, you know I'd like to be able to kind of color in like what I've read and I just haven't really started to color in that in um, and then I have a few pages of some notes and drawings because I'm gonna hopefully start working on a craft room. We have an extra bedroom that we could re, um, that we could, I can use. I just haven't taken the time to do it. And I really would love to have a craft room, um, but it's just seems a little bit overwhelming, but I have been starting make, making plans and figuring out furniture arrangements and stuff like that um, for the space that I have available. Okay, so the fourth section, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this tab in here. And then I use this last part for just note paper. So I have like a collection of different um, type pages that I can pull from to use. And instead of having to go to my stash and find random sheets, I just pull out different ones. And I'll kind of show you as we go. That's just a plain grid, some uh, brain dump, which I think is super cute with a little banner there. I've got some daily daily sheet sorry about the noise you guys okay and then I have some grocery list pages this came off of the block the hundred page block for the shopping list so it's just one-sided um, I've got some more daily sheets and just some more uh, lined note paper okay got all those off those noisy discs <laughs> Okay, so then just finishing putting these in here. All right, and so then I have my planner, Franken planner, using my really, really cool, I just love these so much. I hadn't tried them. I wanted to, to use them on the video uh, for the first time because I hadn't even opened them, but I love them so much um, with the paper behind it. And let me tell you what, you guys, this kind of just opens up possibilities, right? For you, I mean, for any cover you want, any pattern paper that you find could be a cover. You could even take, um, you know, like a quote or something and put it on some white sticker paper or even a white quote um, on here. Um, I just see a lot of possibilities. And then also just to kind of get an idea, because I want to see it too. If I took this and flipped it around to use this as the cover, what it would look like. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
I love that so much. I couldn't decide what papers to use. I took a little bit of time trying to find the right ones. Um, I love what I picked out, but I have a lot of pattern paper, so really the options are endless. But anyway, let's put this back on correctly. And my planner is set up for February, and I love it so, so stinking much. But I hope you do too. Um, like I said, if you are interested in any of the Live Love Posh products, be sure to check out my description box for the affiliate link below. Use my code AMANDA10 to save 10% on everything in the shop except for Posh boxes. Um, also, Happy Planner is linked below as an affiliate. Um, and then I will try to link any of the products that you saw uh, me use as far as like the, the way I store my disc and things like that as well for you guys in case you are interested. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really enjoyed putting this together with you. I love how it turned out. I hope you do too. If you do, hit that like button and give me a comment down below. It helps the algorithm for other people to find me too. Welcome to my new subscribers. I know there's been a lot lately since the first of the year. Um, so you guys are so welcome here and I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much to my um, longtime subscribers and people who comment religiously on my post. I love it so much and I love interacting with you guys. Thank you again and we'll see you next time. Bye.